Today, we heard rumors that the Sacramento Kings could be moving to Seattle, but there is no deal quite yet. NBA Board of Governors voted to uh, reject the relocation of the Sacramento Kings. When I uh, convinced the NBA to let me buy the Sacramento Kings, I had a, a vision that I pitched them. I called it NBA 3.0. Taking it global is a key part of that NBA 3.0 vision. Some of the biggest markets are going to be overseas. We already see that in China, where there's more people in China that play basketball than the entire population of the United States. We're going to see that in India. We're going to see that in Africa. And I believe that this is a game that lends itself to those markets. So this is a game that is compatible with the conditions that you find in many parts of the world. It can be played inside, it can be played outside, by boys, by girls, by one person, by a few people, and really all you need is a ball and, and a hoop. Five years ago, uh, the new commissioner, he's, he was new then, Adam Silver, he had promised me that one of the first things he would do is go to India and see what we have there. And he kept his promise, uh, so we showed up there five years ago and we launched our uh, NBA initiatives. I'm here in India to continue developing the game of basketball. We were there together on, on a trip to Mumbai and Vivek said, we need to bring an NBA game here and it needs to be the Sacramento Kings. Our goal was to get the train moving, launch basketball in India. We got an opportunity to participate in a huge clinic for young people with our partner at the Reliance Foundation. We met with local leaders, we went to the schools, we looked at different venues, we met with sports minister, we met with different government leaders. So we were really working on all fronts. Uh, at having worked through this five-year cycle where the germination of an idea, then working through the logistics, um, uh, finding an arena, we found a facility, we retrofitted it so it looked like an NBA facility. At that trip where we decided we, we had to bring a preseason game over back to India. When we arrive in India in October and we get off the plane, uh, I'm going to feel uh, just a rush of joy to leave India with $50 in my pocket and then to come back there with my own NBA basketball team and to also have my friend Herb Simon bring his Indiana Pacers there and to actually walk into an arena that's going to play a real game. You know, when that ball goes off and they tip off, that will be one of the most iconic moments of my life. We're uh, minutes away from taking off. We got the two jets sitting outside and they're going to whisk us off to my home country. It's, it's going to be an exciting trip. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of bonding time on the plane. So this is going to be incredible. Head to the Taj Mahal, man. Go on a little tour. Uh, my first time. I'm excited. Can't wait to see what it's about. You know, I heard about it. Let's get this tour going. Hey, who who wanna drive with me? Harrison, ready? <laughs> am, I, am, I, am I here, my guy? You don't wanna ride with me? Well, let's here. I don't wanna ride with you. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place to be. Basketball could do a lot, man. Blessed. I'm going to teach them an Indian cheer. 
and I'm going to say one, two, three, and I want everyone to say Jai. Say Jai. Jai Ho. Jai Ho. That means victory B. Jai Ho. Okay. Jai Ho. Jai Ho. Okay. Jai Ho. Okay. One, two, three. Jai Ho. Jai Ho. Jai Ho. Yeah, I mean, obviously just driving around town, uh, seeing more signs for the game, um, seeing this you know, arena for the first time. It looks great. You know, my teammates, you know, we had a good day at the Taj Mahal yesterday. Excited for the game tomorrow to just see the fans and hopefully put on a good show. I'm excited. It's, uh, it's my first time you know, out of the country, so you know, to be doing it, playing basketball, uh, something that I love to do. Um, it's, it's definitely a blessing. It's definitely great to be out here, man. I'm excited for it. Um, you know, we've been waiting for this since summer. Cheer us on. Have fun watching. I think the biggest thing is, you know, having people see, you know, a live game. You know, hopefully this can be the start to, you know, many more games of the NBA coming out here and showing fans what it's all about. Hopefully inspiring kids to, you know, want to play, want to be a part of it. It won't be far off from, you know, more kids from the States, playing college basketball, and try to get some NBA. One, two, three. This is historic, this is epic. Uh, we're bringing the NBA to India. We got to go to the Taj Mahal, which was awesome. And we've been able to see some really neat things and experience things that we never would have done. And just really happy to be here and excited to you know, try to make basketball global. A lot of the heavy hitters in the NBA are out here. They all know what an amazing opportunity this is to be here in India. The NBA showed up and uh, it means the world to be able to, to do something for the first time. Well, it is finally here. The 35th season of the Kings now underway as they make some history tonight for the first ever NBA India Games. What an exciting moment for the NBA and of course a historic day to remember for the people of India. Getting ready to start this game, I'm excited. I'm really looking forward to seeing what the atmosphere in this arena is going to be like. It's absolutely unbelievable. The fact that they're going to see these players in, in up close and person is going to be something which cannot be replicated in any other way than just by being here and feeling them. You got 4,600 people here, 3,500 of them are kids. India has taken on a global effect and I think for the game, if we saw what happened in China and you're thinking, this could happen in India as well. This is about as big as it gets. This is so important and I'm so excited for Indians that the best game on this earth has finally arrived in India. Being here in person is just awesome. The league's come a long way since I first entered it. Marvin Bagley showing it all here. After all this year, we know that our fans have been waiting for the NBA game to come to India. Now time they have come, so I'm very excited to just be part of the history. It's a dream come true. The reception we got from Indian fans was incredible. The learning experience that the players and the Kings community had, whether it was seeing the Taj Mahal or engaging uh, with Indian fans, experiencing the culture, Bollywood night, uh, the food, the fashion, the music, just the whole spectacle that's India. The games went off without a hitch. 
there was a who's who of folks in the audience. We invited uh, 3,000 kids, and the energy that those kids brought to the game and to the arena uh, was electric. You could, you could touch it. It, it was just an incredible, incredible experience and successful uh, in every way uh, beyond what I could have ever imagined.